dan aman optimal customers. Good afternoon. Apa kabar? While 2020 has been a difficult year so far for many businesses, Happy Fresh seems to have enjoyed the opposite fate. So you're going to love my guest today. We're going to dig up some knowledge and tips from the CEO of Happy Fresh, and we're going to find out how to seize business opportunity in an unpredictable future. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Guillaume Segara. Hi, how are you, Guillaume? Pretty good. Pretty good. And yourself? <laughs> great, great. I think in terms where everything is quite unpredictable, um, success is attached to adaptability and like managing to adapt fast to changes and being very versatile and flexible, I think probably was one of the key skill sets that as a company as a, and, and as a somebody that works in that field has to have. And uh, probably also one of the most difficult ones to carry on with such a difficult times. Yep. So we've always been, I think, putting extreme focus on quality and trust. That's all right. always has been part of Happy Fresh, uh, almost DNA. Um, understanding that working with groceries is a very sensitive mm -hmm. category, and especially us that we know to really be a very strong on fresh, fresh produce right. and delivering quality. So we found ourselves with a challenge where we had a lot, a lot of new orders coming in. Mm -hmm. But we also had to scale up the fleet accordingly. So we very early on in the beginning of the pandemic, we realized that if we wanted to keep that quality standards, we had to make a decision. Mm -hmm. um, we had to make a decision to potentially not take all the orders that we might be able to take. But in return, the orders that we would take, we would ensure that the quality was there. And I think that's one of the, you know, one of the examples on when you have to adapt to new situations, but at the same time, you, you almost have to make a trade-off. What we really thought is like, what's the point of accepting an order if we, don't, if we cannot provide a good experience to our customers, because that customer will not come back. And that has, it's not at all what we want. A bit of everything, but not too much of anything. Um, so I think it's good to work, but not too much. It's good to have like free time, but not too much. It's good to travel, but not too much. It's also good to have, you know, um, well balanced between your 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 physical um, health, your mental health as well, very important. So I think it's try to strike the right balance between all these things. And probably that to me is an optimal uh, living. It's also something, by the way, that I learned more and more, especially throughout this 2020, where we spend a lot of time at home um, and we realized that, to be honest, we were going at a very, very fast pace and we were missing a lot of important things in life that might be really small, but very important. Thank you, Guillaume Segara, for joining me on the show today. Best of luck. Thank, Thank you so you very much. And yet, and Dynamon Optimal customers, it was an amazing interview with the CEO of Happy Fresh as he talked about the transformational um, year for Happy Fresh as a business and how the online grocery sector is transforming. I hope you are enjoying the series. I really do. And I'm hoping that all of these interviews are not just interesting, but they're giving you great tools and great ideas to make this a really vibrant part of your life. The best way to tackle the world is by optimalkan hidupmu hashtag. Being with Danamon is one of the keys to optimal living, so keep it in mind. Thank you for coming back week after week as you do. So glad to be up in this space with you. I'm gonna end these great series by sending much love. Thank you, Danamon Optimal. Thank you, Asia. My name is Dea Pranatamia. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy. Have a great weekend. Bye, Guillaume. Hi, thank you.